would you say is the most important trait for a quarterback to have in this offense that you're trying to install? Uh, I think really a sense of timing and accuracy would be the first two things that, that I would say. And um, two has got really a great feel for both of those. And uh, that's, that's where I'd say it starts. What have you learned about him so far? Since oh, I've learned a lot. You know, I've learned a lot. But um, really, really like the the you know the person, um, the personality. Yeah, you know, the, the longer we're here, the more you kind of get to see the the real guy. You know, the first when you first meet somebody, it's you know you're not quite sure what it is. So um, the more time we spend together, just really like like him as a guy, um, his his preparation, how important it is to him, those kind of things. And then um, what I see on the field is a guy that that really um, is a tireless worker at it. It's important to him. Um, got a good rapport with the guys, and there's you know there's the really this guy's going to be the limit for what we're be able to, what we're going to be able to do. Do you see leadership qualities from him? Do you, do you see it actively um, when he's working with? The I do. Every, you know, and, and each guy really has kind of a, a, a different um, you know s set of leadership skills. I mean, we, we've talked about it, and no one guy is going to going to be the same. But um, yes, Tua, Tua definitely has it. And I mean, obviously, the number one thing is when you go play well. You know, that that helps you lead. But um, he's doing all those other things. He's working on his game, he's working on his team, um, and he's doing all those things to, to help him be a great leader. We should ask you about uh, Skylar Thompson. Um, what was the thought process in, uh, in the team getting him in the seventh round? What did you like about him? Personally? Yeah, I, I mean, I like the way that he played the position, number one. Um, he, he, you know, he always played it, as I watched his tape, he played it with a good base. Um, he's, he's an older guy, he's, you know, he's played it for a while as well, he's got a lot of experience. Um, then, t then today, you know, I really liked his command. Um, I liked it. I liked the way that he was able to enter the huddle, communicate with the guys because the plays get very, very wordy. Um, and then he made, you know, was able to make some plays with his arm. So it's, you know, a good first day. And uh, Teddy, I mean, pretty much the ideal backup to have uh, for Tua and, and a guy who could fill in if ever the, the case came up. Um, yeah, very capable backup. Um, obviously, another guy that's very experienced in the, you know, in the NFL, played a lot of games. So at any time you would have to go to him, you, you know, you would feel very comfortable with it. Um, he's great in the room. Tua and him have. have have a good relationship already. They communicate well, and I think that's always a, an important factor for those guys. Uh, any, you know, the starting quarterback kind of needs that guy to lean on. I think Teddy would be great for that. Um, and then, but you know, Teddy hasn't lost a stinger either. You know, he's he's a competitive guy, and and for his opportunity, if he if if he ends up getting one, that he'd be ready and prepared to go. Has anything stood out to you about uh, Chris Struveller? Um, really, his versatility. You know, we're, we're doing a lot with him in practice. I mean. Um, he's, he's doing a lot of different things. You know, he's working on special teams, uh, and, and he's, he's just a tireless worker. 